Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another day of toy hunting at Walmart. And here I found a bunch of Lego sets and these are the Speed Champion sets. And this is a McLaren Elva convertible roadster. And looking at it, I like the uh, real vehicle in that picture on the right. But, you know, the Lego set, I'm not really fond of how it's made because it doesn't really match the body line. I know it's a Lego set and they're usually blocky. So, but... It's my opinion, but when you come to look at this Supra, the front end looks kind of smashed in. I don't really like that. I mean, if you look at the real vehicle here on the right again, it looks, the body lines are more curvish. And you know, look at the back, it's all flat too. So I'm not really liking that. And then you come to the Koenigsegg Jesco. This one's a little bit better, you know, it, it's okay on the lines and the rear looks okay too. So this one, maybe. I mean, the real car still looks cooler, but hey, it's still a basic Lego set. And then when you come down here, this is a Ford GT and a Bronco R. And actually, I think I like this one. The uh, body lines of the vehicle and the Lego set closely resemble each other. And I think I like it out of these uh, sets so far. So this is pretty cool. I like these over here. And then next we have a C8 Corvette and a 68 Corvette set. Now this one, this one's okay. The uh, C8 Corvette's a little too blocky too to me, but the 68 Corvette, it matches pretty well. I mean, they did a little bit better job on trying to match the body lines. So what do you guys think about that? I think this one's okay. I mean, I like the details and stuff. And the last one I found is a Mopar Dragster and a 70 challenger ta now this one's cool i like the dragster that's probably my favorite part about it it just looks really cool and it's not too hard to replicate on a lego set but you know they're trying to make them look like the real cars i know these sets you know this one runs about 50 dollars, and then that corvette set is actually only 30 dollars and then that Ford GT and Bronco R is another $50. And the smaller ones that I showed you at the beginning, they are $20 each. So yes, they're a little bit cheaper. And that's probably why the design of these things are so blocky and not really perfect. If you ever get the $100 versions of the Lego sets, they have better matching of the curves of the vehicles. So what do you guys think about all these sets is there any one in particular that you guys like or is there another version of a vehicle that they made that you really really like and um, leave them below leave your comments below of what you think and remember to uh, like this video if you like this content and subscribe to my channel to help me out and sub and share this video to anyone that likes Legos thanks for watching